welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring the fascinating history behind a simple yet game-changing invention, the rolling suitcase. While it might seem obvious to us now, attaching wheels to a suitcase didn't happen until the 1970s. How is it possible that humanity took so long to combine two basic things, the wheel and the suitcase? The story starts in 1970 when Bernard Sado, a luggage executive, had a breakthrough. He attached four small wheels to a suitcase and added a strap, creating the world's first rolling suitcase. Shortly after, in 1972, Sado filed a patent for what is now known as rolling luggage. You'd think this idea would have existed long before, but it took thousands of years after the wheel was invented to reach this point. So why the delay? Why did we put a man on the moon and create electric rovers, yet it took until the 1970s to put wheels on a suitcase? It's a mystery of innovation, one that highlights the slow pace at which even obvious inventions can develop. Nobel Prize winning economist Robert Schiller discusses this in his book Narrative Economics, where he uses the rolling suitcase as an example of how the blindingly obvious can be overlooked for years. Human ingenuity often takes its time, as even simple solutions sometimes don't seem as apparent in the moment as they do in hindsight. It's a perfect case of human inertia. Our habits and ways of thinking can prevent us from adopting useful innovations right away, even when the technology to make them possible is readily available. Another reason for the delay might be that innovation isn't just about having the right idea, it's about how the market responds. Sado himself faced resistance when trying to sell his invention. Department stores initially didn't think it would catch on. While the rolling suitcase seems like a no-brainer today, it wasn't embraced right away. What eventually drove the rolling suitcase into the mainstream wasn't just the innovation itself, but economic and social changes. Air travel was becoming more popular and people needed more efficient ways to carry their luggage. By the late 1980s, the rolling suitcase had been further improved by a US pilot named Robert Plath, who added a telescoping handle and made the suitcase smaller, perfect for the modern traveler. The 1987 patent for Plath's rollerboard trademark suitcase revolutionized the way people traveled, especially for business trips and frequent flyers. The new design was not only convenient, but also offered better mobility, marking a shift in the way suitcases were designed and marketed. But this invention does more than just highlight the slow pace of innovation. It also serves as a powerful example of economic efficiency. Before the rolling suitcase, travelers relied on porters or heavy lifting to manage their luggage. With the introduction of wheels, it suddenly became possible for individuals to manage their luggage with much less effort. This transformed the travel experience and made mobility more accessible and efficient for everyone. What's important to note here is that while the technology existed, suitcases and wheels, bringing them together took time because of the human tendency to stick with the status quo. That's why the rolling suitcase is more than just an invention. It's a lesson in how innovation works, how habits can slow down progress, and how efficiency eventually triumphs when necessity demands it. The rolling suitcase reminds us that even the simplest ideas can take time to come to fruition. Sometimes it's not just about inventing something new, but convincing the world to use it. Innovations that seem obvious in retrospect are often delayed by the inertia of thinking and long-standing habits. So what other obvious innovations might we be overlooking right now? Just because something seems simple doesn't mean it will be adopted right away. As we see from the story of the rolling suitcase, sometimes even the best ideas need time to take hold. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any other inventions that took too long to be adopted or if you have ideas about what simple solutions might be waiting for their moment today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories of innovation.